If the defendant will please stand. The last 25 years of his life, much of it in prison, has all led up to this moment. In the District Court of El Paso County, Texas, 409th Judicial District, the state of Texas versus Daniel Villegas, number 940D09328. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant, Daniel Villegas, not guilty of... For the first time since he was 16 years old, 25 years ago, Daniel Villegas is a free man. Mr. Villegas, you have been under many conditions uh, in this court. You are no longer under any conditions in this court. You are free to leave. Good luck to you. We're in Lexington, Kentucky, and the sentencing of Trey Alexander Relford. He's pled guilty to the 2015 murder and robbery of Salahuddin Jitmud, a 22-year-old who'd been delivering pizzas. Jitmud was making his final delivery of the night when Relford and two accomplices lured him into their apartment complex, then robbed and stabbed him to death. Before Relford receives his sentence, the victim's father, Sombat Jitmud, a school principal and devout Muslim, speaks directly to the man who murdered his son. Trey Alexander Relford, I feel so, so sad for you that uh, you have to be in this situation. I wish I could help you as I help my son to be a good citizen. If Salahuddin were to be here, if he alive, he will forgive you. That's the way he was, that's the way he is. I'm not angry at you for being part of hurting my son. I'm angry at the devil. I blame the devil, the devil, who misguiding you and misleading you to do such a horrible crime. No, I don't blame you. I'm not angry at you at all. I want you to know that. I forgive you on behalf of Salahuddin and his mother. Thank you. Mr. Wilford, do you wish to make a statement? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about what happened that day. But I do applaud you, because it takes a powerful man to know that somebody has hurt them and do what you, get up there and say what you just said. I have a child. She is four. And I can imagine the hurt, the pain from the bosom hurt. Trey Relford received 25 years for murder and an additional six years for robbery. We head now to a hearing in Louisville, Kentucky. The defendant, James Roeder, has been charged with burglary. His alleged partner in crime, his wife, Ashley. They're both charged with breaking into a warehouse and stealing six flat screen TVs. At the time of the robbery, Ashley was pregnant. James, who's been locked up in county jail since his arrest, has had a no contact order with his wife, meaning they're not allowed to speak to each other before their court cases because they're co-defendants. While they've been separated, Ashley gave birth to their son. I don't want you to say anything to me about your case at all. Don't say anything. Your lawyer's not present right now. But I understand that there is a chance that you're going to go back to Todd County and that your baby is a month old and you haven't met that baby yet. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Miss Roder, do you want to come up here? 
I know you have a no contact order between you and Ms. Rutter that I have, um, that I issued, and I'm not changing that. Yes, I'm making a temporary exception right in front of me on the record so that you can meet this baby. This is your son. Be careful. You see his little shirt? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <here. laughs> it could be a fair amount of time before Roder sees his son again. James Roder is sentenced to four years for third-degree complicity burglary. And Ms. Roder, you can stay up here because I'm going to call your case next. Ashley Roder's given probation and is currently taking care of the couple's two children. Thank you for letting me be a part of that. Next, we head to a Montgomery County Justice of the Peace courtroom in Willis, Texas, where friends and family are gathering for the wedding celebration of longtime couple Monica Morrison and Dean Birkenhoff. But what the happy couple doesn't know is that their special day is about to take a huge left turn. Before I pronounce them, is there anybody here that would like to raise an objection? I would. Amanda? I love both of you so very much. And I know the one thing in the world that you both would want so much is to have Colton here. Colton was Monica and Dean's other son, who suddenly passed away seven years ago. It was a devastating time for the family, but they found some comfort in donating Colton's organs to those in need. And I know the one thing in the world that you both would want so much is to have Colton here. <laughs> this is 28-year-old Travis Stuffelbeam. He's an organ recipient, and he's alive today because inside his chest... Colton's not here physically. He's here. Colton's heart beats on. And this is the first time the couple and Travis have ever come face to face. Travis wanted to be here because he felt like he needed to be here. I'm just boring it and to me this is where it belongs. And thank you from my family to you guys. Like, we were grateful. And the heart is finally home. Yes. It's my honor and privilege today to pronounce you man and wife. Dean, let me greet your bride. I don't think there is any words. It was special, special to hear from again. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.